Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. This lab is just recently updated. Basically, they have just changed the lab instructions. And because of that, many people are facing the issue while completing this lab. So in this video, I'm going to show you the simplest way to complete this lab. Along with that, I will address all the issues that you might face while completing this lab. So I request you, please watch the video carefully. So first of all, just please start your lab. And once you're done with that, now you have to just open this link in incognito window. Then you have to just log in with your username and password. Password. Once you're done with all these things, then you will get this kind of page. Now what happens, sometimes you are not able to get your project ID. So if you are facing that issue, just me come back over here, click on the task number 1, just me open this link in incognito window. Once you do that, then you will get your project ID. After doing both the things, if you still not able to get your project ID, just me come back over here, make sure that first of all you have to just log in over here and then just me search for the console.cloud.google.com just me search for this now from here you have to just me select your project id like this way just me click over here and then choose that and it's done now here just me search for the fire base and hit enter then click on this fire base over here scroll down now here you can say fire store then click on this get started then click on this and they can get started And then you will get this kind of interface okay now if you get the project id over here just me click on this project id then you also you will get this kind of page now click on this and this both the check boxes and then click on this continue let me just me show you here also just me click over here and then you, you will get this kind of page like this way okay now what you do just me come back over here and then click on this firebase also okay and now you can just me click over here now you know what you have to do now just me click on this web over here like this way okay now for the application name come back to the lab instructions over here scroll down a little bit and from here you can see application name so just me copy that from here you can just me copy or from here also you can copy just me copy and paste then click over here and then click on this register app so it's done now then click on this next next and continue to console like this way so it's done now what you do just me scroll down then click on this authentication over here then click on this get started over here and from here just me choose your google then enable to toggle scroll down then click over here and from here just me choose your student id like this way and then click on this save And it's done now. Now what you do? Just me come back over here. Now here you can say ID. So just me copy this link and open this link in incognito window like this way. Now in the description box of this video, I will share one GitHub link. Just me click on that link and then we are able to access this document. Now just me scroll down over here. Then copy this command. Copy that. Come back over here. Then click on this hamburger. Then click on this terminal and then click on this new terminal over here. Now sometimes what happen? Terminal is not visible for you. Okay. And sometimes it not launch. So just me close the tab. Again open the link and again just me do the same thing. Now if you try to paste over here, if you are not able to paste using your control C or command C, you can just me do one thing. Right click over here and from here just me click on this paste over here. Once you do that, let me just simply show you. Okay. So as you can see, it's asking for the pop-up. Then click on this allow over here and then you are able to paste. Now just me hit enter button over here like this way and then just me wait on this page.
and it's done now now here you can see it's asking for the question so that time what he do you have to just simply hit enter button over here like this way now here you can see this url now if you are using a windows machine so just me press control and if you are using a mac so just me press command button over here and then click on this link over here click on this open now just me authorize yourself then click on this yes yes and copy this token come back over here and paste like this way just me paste and hit enter over here and it's done now i request to please pay attention over here this is a very important part of the lab now here you can see hosting configure file for your firebase okay now we have to just me choose this option now you can just me use your up down key of your keyboard like this way and for selecting that you have to just me press space bar over here and once you space your space bar then you can see it's turn into green over here once it's done then click on this enter button over here like this way okay now here you have to just me choose use a existing project like this way from here you have to just me choose your project id like this way and it's done now here just me hit enter button till end and it's done now here you can see hosting url now you have to just me open the url the way we open the previous url like this way wait for a second then you click on the sign in with google over here now if you are getting this kind of blank page no need to worry just me wait on this page and then you will get this kind of page then just me authorize yourself then click on this allow continue and it's done now for the customer name and for the phone number now if you come back to the lab instructions over here and if you just me scroll down over here just me click on the task number 5 also just me scroll down okay and from here you can see customer name and the phone number if you are not able to find this name no need to worry you can just me use your personal data also so just me copy this name and paste over here like this way then copy your number and paste over here like this way okay once you're done with both the things then click on this save button over here and once to that now if you just may come back to the firebase over here and if you just may click on this project overview and just may wait scroll down then click on this cloud fire store over here once you see the data over here now if you just may come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for each and every task you will get a score without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section i try to make this lab as simple as possible thanks for watching guys and have a good day